Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I actually started this picture. It's been five days. I didn't realise it had been so long. I've not been myself over the weekend, so uh, I'm back now. Um, I have been uploading some of the uh, the Tenerife vlog. Not much of it, I've got to be honest. Um, if you're watching it. Sorry if the camera's really jerky. I'm not very good at doing vlogs. I don't very often do them, so... Not that kind of vlog. I need to practice more. Oh dear, that just broke. Great. So yeah, I've not been feeling too good over the weekend, so... Oh, this pencil just won't stop breaking. I'll be using a different one in a minute. Let's try and sharpen this. Should be alright now. So, we are near the end of October, Halloween is nearly upon us, we will be doing a uh, colour and chat on Halloween, it will probably film the day before but it will be shown on Halloween, it might be filmed on that same night but, and it will be, um, what the hell book is it, Lacey Sunshine's Halloween, one of those ones, I've got one of those ones, um, and I've only coloured one picture in it and I did that last year. So, I want to uh, do another one in that using the Touch 5 markers. So, I've done something like nine pictures this month and some of them have been quite, de quite uh, in-depth. Obviously, being on holiday for a week helped because I did it when Jennifer was napping. But, yeah. I've enjoyed it. I know I said I wasn't going to buy many books, but I think I've got nine already. Something like that anyway. Oops. And some acrylic paints, and I want to order some fine liners. It just seems that every time I order something from Amazon, for the house or for Jennifer, a, a little something falls into my cart. You know, a little a coloring book just pops in. Or I'm in a shop and I, I see some, or I see a colouring book and I think, oh, I want that, or oh, I'll have a look at that, and that looks good. So, yeah, naughty really, but hey, I get paid on Thursday. I'm not going to go mad buying some because, like I said, I've got loads. Um, so, obviously, on Halloween, we will be having a colouring chat, which, like I said, will probably be filmed the day before. And that'll be um, just a, a lacy sunshine one. So it'll be a nice, easy one to colour. Not too in-depth, not too difficult. Something we can just chat to and have some fun with. And then, of course, on the 1st of November, I will be showing you my wrap-up. So all the pictures I've coloured. So at the moment, like I said, it's about nine. It might be about 11. I've got one in a Jade Summer book, in the new Halloween book. And I'm thinking it needs a background, but I hate doing backgrounds. It's just like one of them really cute pictures where you've got a witch and she's holding a broom. And I know that other people have done it without a background, but I don't like having this huge expanse of white behind them. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of just doing a background with the Touch 5 markers, but they will leave streaks. And I was thinking of doing it with the um, acrylic paints that I've got. And then I'm thinking, oh, it's just so messy. <laughs> I might do it with the acrylic paints tomorrow afternoon. If Jennifer goes to sleep, I might just stay down here and uh, do some stuff with uh, them, you know? And then I've got... I'm starting to choose what pictures and books I'm going to be doing next month and I'm not going to just set it all out and say I'm going to do this, this, this and this because I know what I'm like, I'll do what I want to. Um, but obviously when I do my wrap up, after we've seen the coloured pages we've coloured this month, I'll show you what I want, to, what I'm hoping to do next month or some of what I'm hoping to do because 
obviously there will be other new books arriving and I'll probably want to do them. For instance, I know I want to do one from Deborah Miller's Full Four Friends. Now I've done a flip through but I haven't hauled it yet. That haul will be in the next one. So I will probably do something in that book. It also means that I've done something in that book and I am trying to complete a page in each of my books. It's not working all of them and the same with the whips. It's like I haven't finished the page from the Dracula book and I don't think I'm going to. I'm just not in the mood for it. I'm just going to try and do it in bits every month, just a little bit every month. I think it's because it's a page that's quite boring, it's all dark colours, so it's all greys and blacks and it's not very exciting. <laughs> and I think it's just oh I'm just not interested I'm just not into it. So I'm thinking what I'll do is I will um do a little bit every now and again. I also started something in the Jade Summers Everyday Horror. And I've got to be honest, I'm just not feeling that book at the moment. I love the pictures in it. I just, I started it thinking, I like this picture, I'm going to start this one. And I was there and I coloured in a little bit of it and I'm like, I don't really want to do any more of this right now. So I stopped. But what I'm going to do with that one is I wanted to do um, a review of the WH Smith pencils. Uh, the colouring pencils, not the water water ones which we know we, we like because we use them a lot in the um, um, Beauty of Horror book on the Shining Twins but I haven't really used the other pencils properly and now I've tried using them and they feel a bit hard in the, in, in the um, Jade Summer book so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick, pick three books with different papers in so there'll be a Jade Summer book um, so it'll be Everyday Horror There'll be, I'll probably again use a really good quality book, so like The Beauty of Horror or Romantic Country, one of those with a good paper, and then one with sort of something in between, so maybe A Colour in Heaven or something like that, I'll pick a picture from one of those um, and see what it's like on there. So I'll pick three books and we'll do a little bit, and I'll do a little bit of that picture every time I get new pencils uh, and, and test them out, so I'll keep them sort of like... Um, I'll pick three pictures I'm not that keen on that aren't my favourites and we'll just use it for reviewing pencils so that's the plan with that so I'm hoping I might get that filmed sometime this week and it can be up before Halloween as well you never know I am trying to put up more content because I, I enjoy making the videos and I don't like leaving all you lovely people without something to watch um, and I, it is hard for me to do as I'm at work. Um, obviously, I'm running my eBay business. I'm looking after Jennifer. I've got a house to run. <laughs> and I'm also trying to make videos. It's really, really hard work. But I love doing it, so I'm not going to stop. There's no way. Um, I think we'll give us some nice pouty red lips. And some blonde hair, I think. That needs a bit of a bit more sharp on it. So that's what I'm hoping to do. I will, it won't be until January, do all the colouring books I own video, which I'll probably film upstairs because all the books are upstairs. I just bring down what I want when I, I want to, to do it. So at the moment, all the Halloween books are down here, plus all the books I've bought recently that haven't been hauled yet. Um... A couple that I'm, I've got ready for next week, next month, which is next week, and then that's it really. Excuse <sighs> me, oh, I'm so tired. But they're upstairs in the bedroom on a bookcase, and and that's fine. I'm happy with that. So it'll be easier to film it upstairs. It'll be in the spare room because I've got a lighting set up in there because I used to do my booktube videos and of course I use the uh, uh, oh god I can't see the pencil names on these I have to take my glasses off I can't 
what was I saying? Yeah, from from the when I use booktube when I use it for my um God, I can't think. For photographing my stock when I'm doing it. Unfortunately, I don't do it enough. I have had some sales this, this month and I have had some good sales this month. I had a good sale today. Um, the only problem is I've not put much time into it but we're having a week away so um, while I've made profit, I'm in profit, it's not as much as it was last month but that's okay. The way I look at it, anything I make is a bonus as long as I'm meeting my fees. I'm covering my, my stock costs and I'm not losing money. That's fine, I'm happy with that. And at the moment I am making money, I'm not losing it, so I'm just trying to save it. I mean, my plan is after I've paid for this bloody car, excuse me language, because obviously I've got this car to get eventually if I ever get it um that's wiping out my savings pretty much all the profits will be split between two separate accounts one is to cover business expenses such as tax and national insurance and the other is just purely my savings account so the plan is to build my savings up again I don't need the money that I'm making Every now and again I may spend some of it if I want to. I mean it took the I took the profits last month on holiday with me and that was my spending money or some of my spending money, not all of it, but it was certainly some of my spending money. Um and we came back with a fair bit of it. I came back with over 160 pounds. So, oh, that one broke as well now. I'm having a lot of fun with these Prisma colours. I really love them, I really do. But they do break. Just drop my pencil sharpener. I've got quite a lot of stuff to list. And I just haven't had a chance because I've hurt my back a bit. It's better now, but I hurt my back last week getting out of the car. And, uh, yeah, that was not good. And uh, so I can't stand up for too long. Because it hurts. And I can't. And then the one day I was like, yep, yeah, I'm going to do it. I'll wait till Jennifer goes to sleep. I uh, sat down, had some lunch, and as soon as I thought, right, I'm gonna go upstairs and do it now, she blinking woke up, didn't she? So, but paid to that, <laughs> that's the way it goes. So, like I said, I don't rely on the money, it's extra, it's savings, it's spending money for holidays. Sometimes, if I want to, I can say, right, I'm gonna spend some money on colouring supplies. I do want to get some fine liners. I'm having a look at fine liners at the moment. Mostly for doing things like mandalas. So I sit and do an evening when Paul's watching the football or basically when Jennifer's gone to bed. If I don't feel like doing something complicated. Um, sometimes the sharpies are too thick and I haven't got, the, I've only got a couple of really fine sharpies. Um, but I can't afford to buy expensive ones. So I'm looking at some budget ones and of course I can review them. I can say, uh, you know, I'll do a budget, budget fine liners. Are they worth it? So I found some that I'm going to get when I get paid. They're already in my Amazon cart along with, funnily enough, another colouring book. And I'll, uh, yeah. See if I can uh, get that done. You know, just get some. Is that my cream? 
Now that's the sand. Oh, do you know what? I'm so tired. I can't even see what I'm doing. It's terrible. So, yeah. Just been. Ah, just not wanting to do anything much. Um, other than sit and colour and just relax. So when I go to bed, I sit and colour for a bit and then I crack on. There we are, she's looking good. I've only got the houses and buildings to do. That's the boring bit. And the um, moon and the sky, again, boring bits. <laughs> and we've done the good bits. Oh. I suppose I should do them. Oh, someone just hit the deck. What was that? Oh, a pencil sharpener. I wondered where that had gone. My electric pencil sharpener. I wondered where it had gone. And now I found it. <laughs> you will have to excuse me. I'm just not with it today. Right, let's have a look. For... Hmm. Let's use this one. I'm actually using a hand, a steadlet, a hand sharpener at the moment, which I tend to use for things like the Black Widows because they don't really like the electric sharpener. So let's do some of these roofs. Right, so we've got terracotta here. Put some on. As it's night time, I'll probably go over it with a grey so it looks darker than it is. So this Christmas we will be doing Vlogmas again, which is obviously a daily vlog about getting ready for Christmas. It goes up right up. I actually usually just most people just do up to Christmas Eve and don't do Christmas Day. But because I got Jennifer, I like to film her on Christmas Day, so I will do probably do a Christmas Day video. I mean she's not given two yet, so she's still not really gonna understand what's going on. <laughs> We'll, we'll see. What's this one here? Burn Ochre, Sienna Brown, The Enna, Chocolate. I've really got to get some, some of my pencils are getting really, really quite small. So I really, really need to place them <laughs> yeah I really really do need to replace some of my pencils um, for instance I think it's ultramarine which is what I use for the night sky it is quite low there's a red one here. What colour is that? I used that in a Jade Summer book, I think. Rouge, Tuscan Red. I used that for um, Prince Charming's doublet and his velvet outfit, I think. So, yeah. So. I do need to order some, but I've got a lot of pencils. I've still got my polychromos upstairs. I don't use them very often because obviously they are harder pencil, but I do like them, especially for skin. It's just they're not in a case. They're only in, they're still in the tin. It's like as much as I want to buy the pencil cases, I'd rather buy more colouring books. So of course when I use the tin, I've got to get all the things out. Same with the feelers. Though I'm having problems with the feelers. My Feeler black is just constantly breaking. So if that's really annoying. I was using it in one of the Jade Summer books and I was just, I just wanted a little bit. And I used it the one day and it was fine. And the next time I used it, it just kept breaking. I was like, really? And I hadn't dropped it or anything. And Jennifer's not allowed near these pencils. It's why 
unfortunately I have to film these late at night now we're not going to finish this on camera I'm, I'm gonna not gonna lie I'm not gonna not gonna finish it today we're 20 minutes in already and um, it's just not gonna happen because we're not gonna have enough time and I'm we've only got well it's Monday today so you'll be seeing this hopefully Tuesday I mean, it's not a lot to do, so I'll probably finish this in the evening when Jennifer's gone to bed. And you'll see it in the wrap-up, but what, because what I want to do is I want to just have a nice chill-out, colour and chat with you for Halloween. Which might get filmed in the after Halloween afternoon, actually, if, uh, I think I might do that. Because Jennifer will sleep when I get back, as long as I'm quiet. Let her go to sleep to start with. She'll be fine afterwards. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm finding doing this rather dull. And I and I gotta be honest, yeah, I am. Ugh. Yeah, I am finding this rather dull. big expanse so I'm trying to do the the smaller bits here for you and then I'll do the cream and the, of the moon and the the um the sky off camera I'll do the boring bits like that what you would consider boring but I enjoy doing off camera so Jennifer's okay, she's been good as gold and she's enjoying the nursery and like I said I still haven't sorted out my car so I'm still using my mum and dad's which is not good because it means I lose half my afternoon running them around so I can't wait to get a car again. So like today, I said normally I would come straight home, I don't go and see mum and dad on a Monday normally but today day uh, they needed to take their library books back because they were due back at the library I mean I, I'll be honest I love my library I just don't use it because guess what I don't have time to do I don't have time to read I wonder why that is um, but because I don't get much time to read I uh, I don't use a library obviously which is a shame because I actually really like the library in Risker. It's a lovely library. Um, but I just don't get a lot of time to read. So borrowing books from the library just doesn't work at the moment. I'm not saying it's always going to be like that because it probably won't. But at the moment, it's quite, it's depressing. I like to read. So I had my hair cut on Saturday. Not that you'd notice it now because it's tied back. And yeah, I had my hair cut on on Saturday. Um, I like having my hair done, I'm not going to lie. It's espresso. Ooh, it's an interesting looking colour. I'm assuming it's a dark brown. It's a dark brown that's going to break. Is it breaking? Yeah. Is it, or is it a grey? I'm not actually sure, but we're going to use it and find out. Um, let's use it on this roof here, I think. Oh, that's a good colour. Yeah, like that. But normally I'd come straight home, so instead I went to my mum's, had some lunch, bless her. She cooked me some bacon sandwiches. And then... 
I took them to the library. So I didn't get home until gone half two, which okay, it's not late, don't get me wrong, it's not late. But by this point, I'm shattered, Jennifer's shattered, and uh, she just wants to go to sleep. Now I put her down and she was asleep for about 40 minutes and again she woke up screaming. So I took her upstairs and she went to sleep next to me for a bit. And of course I fell asleep normally because if I put TV on it'll wake her up. Um, but she um, woke up then wanting something to eat so I got up and gave her something to eat. And then it was practically time for Paul to come home. And I didn't get anything done. Because I was thinking, oh, I know, I'll film a video. Um, tomorrow I normally go to Mum and Dad's because I do my postage. So tomorrow I'll go to the post office. I do have to go. I've got three items to post at the moment. I'm waiting on payment for a, another one. It would be nice if they'd pay. I'm sure they will at some point and then I'll just uh, um, post it once it, it's paid. I uh, I go to my sale where I get some of my sale items from. I'll do is I'll go over all this with a blender pencil to burnish it in a bit when I can be bothered because my blender's upstairs. Um, um, I forgot what I was saying. Yeah, so I go to my normal cell where I buy some of my, uh, most of my stock from, in fact, all my stock comes from that at the moment. Just because I've got, I've got a fair bit still to list and because I haven't had the car, I haven't been bothered going to charity shops in Newport now. I did, did have a quick look the other week when we went down and there wasn't a lot there. There was some, but not a lot. So obviously I didn't buy anything. And and the problem I have with the that is Jennifer gets very bored very quickly because she's only a baby and she doesn't understand why I'm wandering around looking at things now. I can just about get away with it at the usual place I go on a Tuesday and a Thursday because the ladies and the gent there that run the sale, because it's like a jumble sale. They make a hell of a fuss of her, so it all works out really well. And she loves them, and she has biscuits, which is nice. Um, so, because she gets that, she's not so bad. So, sorry, I'm just finishing something off there. Um, so because she gets the biscuits, she's quite happy there for a little bit. She, she doesn't stick it for long, I'll tell you that now. But she does. She does take it for a while, bless her. Oh, dear me. So, when I can get down to town on my own it's better I got time then to just sit and look through the um the rails so I can just get on with it look through the rails as fast as I want that's the one I want deco peach and uh I can pick up what I want then but at the moment it's just too much hard work I mean if we go to Newport me and Paul we will have a look quick look around the charity shops and if there is anything there that I think I'll pick up I would pick up I mean it's not going to stop me from looking but I can't spend the time I would like to spend doing it you know so but that'll work out in the future I'm sure when I'm doing it properly at the moment it is just to try and get some savings and it was working up until I had to get a new car which I'm still waiting on hopefully we'll get that this weekend it was supposed to be last weekend now it's gonna be this weekend so that means uh, Wednesday 
dad wanted to go to Watt, which is like a DIY place. I'm not sure what he wants but he wants to get something from there and that's fine because I can get some storage totes for my stock so I can get some more for my stock some more totes for my stock because I need some and uh, so we'll go down together on I'll take him down on Wednesday and he needs to drop a prescription in we were going to do it today but mum said she didn't have it and then she got home and found she did have it it can be quite annoying when that happens but uh, we'll drop that in on, on Wednesday and then Thursday is my normal sale again and if that person doesn't pay for the item that I'm waiting payment for by then I mean they may well have paid it my phone's dead and that's fine because I can sort that out in the morning because I've got the label printed off ready I mean I don't it's not a label in the sense it's a postage label but it's an address label and I can just post it tomorrow but if they pay tomorrow during the day or tomorrow night, it'll go on Thursday. So I will have to go anyway. And then I'll go down to my mum's again. And uh, see what's happening. Have some lunch. That's what normally happens. And... Uh, but of course it messes up my day and Thursday I'll have to take a shopping as well to Morrison's because Thursday's the day she normally goes shopping. Um, she actually goes shopping two days which is annoying but it is what it is. She goes shopping on a, a Thursday to Morrison's and then to Lidl's on a Friday. So I'll need to do that on Friday as well. And I don't mind because I've got their car. They're good enough to lend it to me. You know, it's only right I should take them shopping and do that. It just does mess up my week. And I think until I've got my own car again, I'm not going to get much done on the whole eBay thing. So I might as well try and get some stuff done on the old YouTube thing. So I'm, I, I, I make YouTube videos because I enjoy making them. I like talking to you. I like sharing things with you that I'm up to. And I like showing you the colouring books I've bought and the pens I'm using. Um, telling you what I think about things. I don't make any money off of it. I haven't got enough subscribers to monetize. I'm way off. And, you know, yes, it would be nice. But do you know what? I don't care. If I ever got to the point where I could monetize, it would be fantastic. Because at one point I could, but then they changed the rules. Because of a big YouTuber being an idiot. And the stupid thing is, it was a big YouTuber with millions and millions and millions of viewers that did something really stupid. And they took monetization away from the smaller accounts, which weren't doing anything wrong. Um, and I totally get that they want to keep the big YouTubers because they make the money off of them. But it doesn't really encourage people to to carry on making videos if they, you know, if they haven't got a chance of monetizing. I mean, like I said, I do it because I enjoy it. If people want to watch them, they want to watch them. If they don't, that's fine too. I know there's a lot of haters out there who just have a go at people for trying and sharing and I know I'm not the best vlogger. Like I said, it can be quite jumpy sometimes when I vlog. And it's not intentionally, it's just because I've not got, ooh, we're out of focus, I've not got the experience. I'm not sure how long the camera should be lingering on something. Uh, I, I'm always worried that it's going to be too long and people are going to be bored with what they're seeing and then not want to watch and turn off uh, but I'm also aware that you do need to be focused on it for a certain amount of time so people can actually see what it is so it's just getting that balance and maybe I need to just watch the videos I make I don't I just film the clips and 
let it go now I uploaded one of Laura Park yesterday well today when I'm filming this I I've tried to linger on some of it because I figure you might want to see some of the animals rather than me or Jennifer or Paul so but again I, I don't know if it's any good it's probably not very good so do let me know what you think of um, these videos like the Laura Park ones and the Tenerife ones it, it you know I know I need to um, not turn the camera as quickly so I will will try and, and do that the next time I make another one of these vlogs obviously all the Tenerife ones are filmed sadly I'm not in Tenerife anymore I wish I was but uh, I'm not so if I was it would be great <laughs> but you know next time I go out and uh, make a vlog I don't know when that'll be I'll try and uh, be a bit more careful at uh, making sure you can see what's going on right just got the lights to do in the windows on this now and then we'll call it a day and like I said I'd do the sky and the moon off camera probably tomorrow night Is that this one so we're just gonna put some lights on in the windows just so that it looks like that so it's very very light like I said I'll be using ultramarine for the the sky uh, the moon I, I usually use cream and then what I do is I get my when I've done the sky I get my Derwent razor my electric razor razor a razor see I, I see what I mean I'll get my Derwent electric eraser and then I just sort of a raise around the moon and then go over it with the cream so it looks like uh, the shimmer from the moon the haze of the moon thing so let's just put this one in so there's a few little bits that I've just got to tidy up like I said I'm not too worried about the Buildings. I'm going to go over them with a burnisher at some point with the uh, it's a um, blending pencil uh, it's the Prisma one actually I lost one of those in Tenerife it fell off the balcony and landed three stories down on the terrace um, but yeah we're just about finished now so the next time you see this will be in our wrap up of pictures which will be on the 31st on Halloween on the 1st of November because all I'm going to do now is the background the sky and the moon and then I might go over some of the housetops there are some that have got bits missing that I'm noticing every few minutes and I'm just so I'm just going to go over them with the, with a blender pencil to uh, make sure it all blends in what's this one Light peach, that's the second light peach I've got. Where's that deco pink gone? There it is. Deco peach it's called. It's just to do a bit more here. So that is about it. I hope you've enjoyed watching me. Oh, I've just lost one of them. I'll pick that up in a minute. This one is called Come Fly With Me. It's by Selena Fennec and it's from the book Night Magic. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I will see you all again very, very soon um, with a Halloween catch up. And of course, my completed pages for October and what I hope to start colouring in November. So I'll see you all soon. Bye guys.